Jess, today we're talking about a subject that I love, which is self-care. Not always good at it, but I love the subject. <laughs> you can always improve. Oh my gosh, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think especially in the industry we're in, where we're pretty isolated, uh, you know, we work on our own most of the time, you know, we kind of make our own schedule, all of those things are great. And, but we also get really focused on like all the stuff we got to do because we, you know, we are a one man, one woman show, you know, and we're, we're trying to get it all done and, and it can get crazy and forget like other parts of your life, right. That are crazy. Like you, know, you being a mom and everything, you know, like how do you prioritize self-care? And I, I do think it's really important for everybody and definitely in this, in this job. Would you agree with that? Oh, for sure. And I think yeah. it looks very different for everybody, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, You, when we were off camera, you mentioned like retail therapy. You know? <laughs> like I went shopping with my daughter yesterday. I saw you. Yeah. You're like, I hate that clothes is, shopping. It is not self-care. Like I need a whole session of self-care after going shopping. After going shopping. I hate shopping it so much. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, Why do you hate it so much? much? Is it just like oh, a, it's just a yes. pain? It's a pain and it's tiring and like looking through clothes and going, I don't know what my, like if I could hire a stylist to just, just wear this, you look nice, wear that. Like yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. a hot mess since I was a kid. So yeah, it is not fun. Yeah. So what yeah. do you do for like self-care, you know, in your life? Well, first of all, I'm terrible at it. And so <laughs> Um, it's only been really in the last few years that I've been able to go, okay, this is self-care. Like when I take myself and get a pedicure and I never used to do that. I'm not a girly girl. You know, yeah. I used to pop heads off Barbies when I was a kid, you know, <laughs> guilty, yeah, <laughs> guilty yeah. as charged. Um, so for me, it's like getting girly is weird, but doing a pedicure for me is, is a good self-care. Like I don't want anybody with me. I can yeah. AirPods and and just listen to music. Listening to music is another self care. I love outside walking, hiking. Love to go into the woods and just go hiking, like not with kids. Yep. I mean that's wonderful too. But yeah, yeah. No, we're talking about self care for you. What really what really makes you feel yeah. calm? Really, really uh, fuels you, gives you something back, right? Yeah, I would say hiking through the woods is probably my top number one self care. Thing. And I should do it more often. And I just, mm -hmm. I feel bad because as a mom, I'm like, well, I should take the kids with me because they need to get off their devices. And yeah, well, you and know. you should sometimes, but you're also a better mom when you don't do that, when you do it just for you. Yeah. Right. Which is hard to comprehend, but it's, it's true. Yeah. It's true. It really is putting true. boundaries around yeah. those things. Yeah. yeah. Um, Apple Fitness also has like a self care, um, like a meditation mindfulness thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also terrible at that. But one, when I just sit down and I either prayer or just mindfulness exercises, that really helps me clear my brain and kind of reset mm -hmm. as yeah. well. How yeah. about how about you? What kind of things work for you? So walking for me is like breathing. Walking is such a huge piece of me. Like I'm not a runner. I don't love exercise, weight training. Like I like Zumba. I'm a dance. I love dance. So I love Zumba. I haven't done that in years, but um, you know, certain like exercise, like I don't like yoga, like Zumba is me, like feels like me. And then, but mostly walking um, and walking. Uh, I walk every day, multiple walks a day. Um, you know, nothing like crazy, you know, like power walks. It's just like walking, walking, just that movement is such a huge part of my life. And I know when I can't do it, when it's like too rainy or it's, I walk around my house, you know, I send you Marcos where I'm walking in circles around my dining room. <laughs> like, yep. but I also like walk, um, you know, just like walking out in, in on my streets, a lovely neighborhood. It's just like, that's just everything. And when I can't, I can feel it. It li literally, it's like, to me, it's like taking an antidepressant. It's literally like, keeps and they, there's science with that that it actually keeps your mental better so but but like my favorite favorite things are like walking and then walking with like my sister or walking with a friend and talking so like if I if you had to pick like my favorite activity like you said the hiking like uh it's like walking and talking with a good friend and then um for me I'm such an a personality I'm always on all the time the one time in life when I am not thinking I'm not on, you know, in charge, I'm not taking, you know, I'm not like on, I guess, is on the massage table. 
and it has to be the right massage therapist. And I worked at a massage school for eight years. So I learned a lot about um, the, you know, the science behind this. Yeah. And you're like your, your nervous system and someone like me, who's a worrier, like that's, it's literally the only time I could say in life where I actually like surrender again, if it's the right massage therapist. So I have certain people that I know it's a good massage therapist when I lay on the table and I'm thinking like, oh, what am I going to have for dinner? What? Like, I'm not like, oh, what is she doing? Or, you know, like, I'm, right. I'm like just, I'm not, not right even there. Thought. Yeah. Or, yeah. I'm not yeah. there. I'm just in it. And that's so beneficial to my health because of my nervous system. Um, if I could afford to, I would have one once a week at least. Um, and, but I don't, I probably yeah, God, these days I probably get it once every two months or so. Yeah. Um, but it's when I'm there, it's like such a gift. Uh, so that would be, if I could do walks with friends and a massage every day, that would be like everything. Um, Your life would be that would be, yeah. And a little retail therapy too, <laughs> but, um, but like, yeah, I also meditation is a big thing and it's something I took a class on at Harvard and, uh, I actually became like a, me a certified meditation teacher. Um, I know <clears throat> calm and there's a lot of other apps, but I'm a meditation teacher. I've put up some meditations on insight timer, which is a free app. If you put on, go on insight timer, I'm actually like, I can actually talk to you on one of the meditations. You should link to that. We'll make sure we link to that. You get like a kickback if you take engage with some of the people. I've had like some reviews and stuff and I've written back to the people. So I've made like $10. <laughs> wow. I know. You're Side income. How many more people than that? <laughs> I'm going to get a, a large coffee somewhere. <laughs> big spender with my ten dollars but yeah anyway yeah, there is a little kickback but it's like it's yeah that's over like almost it's almost like months. you do that because you know it's important so yeah. it's your way of giving yeah time. yeah right. it was fun and you know to become like certified and do yeah, it was just yeah. fun yeah do you find that when re you record those kinds of voiceovers that's just really calming like I did a I did one for um gosh I have to remember what it's called um was it a meditation yeah, it was like this. Um, oh, it just slipped my mind. I'll think of it. That's okay. It's like this little um, device you know, off of battery, device, and you like wind it up. So there's no batteries, mm -hmm. there's no electrical devices, there's no screen or anything. Oh, you cool. Sit it there. Because that's then, the problem. You have, if you do meditation, you have your phone. So you're still, you know, they right. say like before bed, you're not supposed to have like elect, like I'm like, how do I get a meditation without actually? Now you're going to have to find that out and send me the name of that. Morphe. It's called Morphe, M O R P H E E. Morphe, I believe they're in Let's France. Put it in the link, put it in the show notes. Yeah. It's oh, interesting. So it was, uh, they sent me all of these like mindfulness exercises and breathing. And I remember oh. sitting in here just going, interesting. Wow. I feel amazing. Just reading all of these, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Breath. One, two, three, breathe out. Interesting. One, huh. two, three. So it was like hours of just like these calm. Yeah. So meditation is, 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 is a good one. Um, prayer, um, huge for us. Uh, I think like, you know, fueling your body with good foods is going to like well, anything that keeps you healthy. Right. Big, yeah. yeah. Notice that when I have fewer carbs and sugars, you know, carbs and sugars make me feel tired and lethargic and mm -hmm. Or hyper, like you know, the sugar. Yeah, crash, yeah, yeah. Of course, sugar just, crush. You know, it's like this. Yeah. So I'm eating proteins and good vegetables. fats. Yeah, vegetables. good fats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of makes it evens like you out a little more. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting, and I I do a lot of those kinds of experiments because like nutrition is such a. Oh my god, my phone's beeping. <laughs> Turning it off. The um, I do a lot of um, you know. I've over the years, I've, you know, way back, I lost like 17 years ago, I lost over 120 pounds. And then just like nutrition's always been such an interest to me, but it's like so confusing. Right. And it's so like so many different opinions out there and, you know, never, you know, you can never have animal products. You should have always have that, you know, like there's so much out there and you got to kind of just take from it and like decide what you, what's right for you and everybody's different and everybody's body's different. And, you know, so I'm like ex always experimenting with my, with trying to find, okay, how can I stay healthy for me? Cause that's going to be different than for you. And you know what I mean? And, and everybody's different and we all have different, you know, DNA and everything. It's just so interesting. And uh, that's been like a lifelong thing for me, but it's a, it's definitely like a passion for me. Um, and yeah. part of self-care, right? It's, it's part of self-care like for sure. Care of yourself. Sure. And oh, I know the, a big one to me in, in, especially in our business is like, talking to like a 
colleagues like so you because you because you kind of understand the same what we're all going through like so having friends in this industry that can like you can just be like oh it's so slow like I feel like I'm losing my mind or you know hey I'm nervous about this or just like our what we deal with right in addition to that having friends that have nothing to do with voiceover <laughs> that <laughs> right? are right that are just like I don't care what you just voice or like let's just no idea yeah, what we let's do. talk yeah, about no life and, yeah I don't that's not like that's not even a thing and so that you can also so you have people that can support you in this and also people that you can escape and get into like real life with right like right get out of the booth and be in like real life having nothing to do with it because you need that escape sometimes too right maybe you don't know that you're struggling with something and realize I need more self-care in my life so doing some kind of like just sit down for 20 minutes and think okay where am I struggling most and how can I help put things into place that's going to help me add more self-care into my day yeah I can continue you know so that this whatever is becoming sustainable does that make sense yeah and I feel like the what is there's a saying uh, a quote you probably heard this before it's like make time for your wellness now or you'll be forced to make time for your sickness later oh yeah yep and that one like hits me I'm like oh because you know I'm like I don't want to do weights or I don't want to I don't really need to take a you know like whatever it is like like that's kind of scary you know first of all but also like why do we why are we the last priority you know it's like the savings account right you're supposed to pay yourself first right you're supposed to put in the savings and then you pay your bills same idea with yourself your body your mind your mental health like all of that, why are we the last to get the little end, the end of the barrel, you know, like, and that, like that's in an means... airplane, it's an airplane, you know, put the, yep, put the on first your... and then get your kids. <laughs> exactly. I'm quickly, like, I was like, Tony, you're not going to put the mask on me first. He's like, yeah, how do you do that with husband and wife? Like, I'm like, oh no, hell no. You putting that on me first. You... <laughs> He's like, I can't, I got to take care of you. I'm like, eh, I feel like you need, I'm not going to know how to use the damn thing. Put it on me. <laughs> right. We have to figure this out now because yeah, we need to figure this out. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, I just, I find that something I'm also, like you said in the beginning, you're not the best at, and I'm, I'm yeah. getting better, but I, and I think you are too, but like, it's, it's a, it's a process and it's, and it's something where it's like, it's like the, it's the simplest thing to understand it and yet to actually implement it. Like, I feel like we know it's more important to do that yeah. first and yet we, it always ends up being the back burner and not always, but like often. So so I think, I think we should prioritize and maybe make that a thing. Like where we're like, you know what, how, do, that's one of the questions I'll ask you when we meet up, like, how are you doing with your self-care? Uh, you know, did not you go on your care. hike this week. Did you go on? Yeah. Did you do a Jessica only hike this week? <laughs> you know, I did yesterday. I there did you go. yesterday. What about your sauna? Wonderful. That seems like. Oh, I love it. It's, it's summer right now. So I don't think wow, I need to use my sauna right now. But in the winter, I could just walk it. outside and yeah, just be true. in the sunshine. True. Uh, that's also self-care is being out in the sun because yeah. we live in Northwest Pennsylvania. <laughs> and it's kind of like, um, yeah, there, there's so much cloud coverage. Yeah. You don't get a lot of UV rays here. Yeah, but you're so, right. The vitamin but in the D. Winter, yeah. In the winter, using the sauna is huge, huge, yeah. huge, huge self-care. All right, self-care. Maybe think about, are you making that a priority? And if not, why do you feel like you don't deserve it? Like, is there sometimes there's like underlying, like, oh, yeah, mental things that are like blocking Posture you. From, syndrome. Yeah, like, you don't, yeah you don't I don't know. That's internal thoughts. But it's so important. And we all yeah. just, I think everybody needs to just get a little better at it. So it's not yeah. selfish. It's really not at all. It's important. So I wish for all of you self care. My phone is vibrating. <laughs> Slow today. Also, self care turning yeah, off. Thank phone. you. Well, it no, you know what it is. It's reminding me that I have a session. Oh yeah, you need, need to go. It. Yep. And okay. so, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.